Theresa May, she thought that Corbyn was finished. It was like a 20 point gap. gap. Yeah. So she, in your words or our words, she wanted to finish Labour completely. Um, when you look at her backpedaling on those issues and just like the disastrous campaign, do you feel that will go down as like the worst political campaign we've seen in an election in living memory? Probably. <laughs> Since I've been in this country, <laughs> since I've been in this country since '97, so that's 20 years. Yeah, it was, it was, it was terrible. Um, this ranks in terms of decision making, in terms of like calling elections decision making, it's definitely up there with like you know, Lib Dems deciding to do a deal with the Conservatives yeah. back in 2010. Is it's is right up there because when Nick Clegg did that, it finished the party, and they're still suffering the consequences of that decision. So. This is up there. The next decision <laughs> that might be up there is this deal that she's trying to do with the D DUP D from Northern Ireland. So, I mean, it's, I just feel it's just one mistake after another. Like right now, it's just, just bide your time. Don't make any rash decisions, especially with Brexit negotiations starting next week. Oh, it starts next week? I believe it's next week now, yeah. This DUP thing, right? How can she do a deal with them, but then be impartial with doing the, was it the Northern Ireland peace treaty? He's like, how can you have someone on your side and yet you're debating and dealing with the other side, but they're on, it's, it's going to be explain hard. Explain to those the, the okay. reason why it's a conflict of interest. So just to give everybody a background around Northern Ireland, um, it's a very sensitive country in the sense that you have the DUP who are, they stand for the Democratic Unionist Party. They are largely Protestant, Protestant and they're unionist. What that means is that they want to be part of the United Kingdom. On the flip side, you have Sinn Féin. These guys are nationalists, Catholics. They want an independent island with the rest of you know, Ireland. So currently Ireland is two countries, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. Sinn Féin want Ireland to be one whole unit. The DUP don't want that. They want to stay part of the UK. And this goes back generations the reason this happened was actually the DUP are descendants of migrants from England so there's a connection there this comes back to the whole issues around colonialism that we still experience around the rest of the world so this is where it's coming from and what the parliament what par those, the role parliament serves is as a as, as, as a peacekeeper they are the ones they're supposed to be the ones that are objective and um, impartial in negotiations because it's a very sensitive peace deal that they have in place in Northern Ireland. You have to remember, you know, this is where the whole issue of the IRA and other sort of terrorist organisations, as they like to group them, um, come into play because of this history. So if you're now doing a deal with one party to try and create or give yourself a majority within the houses of commons so that you can pass your own legislation it's going to affect that process because you're going to have to make compromises or you're going to have to give them something to be able to keep this structure power structure in place between the conservatives and the dup are Sinn Féin going to like it are the nationalists going to like it are you really going to be able to remain in, impartial and to make matters worse or to compound matters at the moment a few months ago, earlier this year, the power sharing structure within Northern Ireland collapsed. Sinn Féin walked away. They were blaming the DUP for one thing or another. And since then, uh, power has been managed centrally from Whitehall, from Houses of Parliament. If people, what people need to understand is that every um, nation within the UK has its own government. So it's called devolved powers. It's a complex situation, but basically that's why Scotland can manage themselves, Wales can manage themselves, same with Northern Ireland. Currently, Northern Ireland are being managed from the UK because the peace deal, well, the power sharing deal collapsed. So they've been trying to get back to that. And now that you're trying to do a deal with one side, um, how long are you ever going to be able to get back there? Or when are you going to be able to get back there? is now the also issue as well.